Hello and welcome to the Oval and to the 2016 PCB User Group. So at IMS Health, we are passionate about using information to transform healthcare, um, to transform patient, patient outcomes, uh, patient safety, but also to help hospitals and health providers manage their costs. Um, so teaming up with Albatross was um, a fantastic opportunity, I think, for both companies. Um, Albatross got the opportunity to use um, IMS to scale their business and provide even more services to their customers. Um, and IMS Health has the opportunity to work with data that can really transform healthcare, so it's very exciting. And today we've got um, about 120 um, of our users here, um, and we're really looking forward to getting feedback from them, because they're really going to drive the future of the service. It's a hard crowd, you know, they want a lot from us. Uh, you know, we, we love being out there though and engaging so we can actually learn. You know, I, I hopefully got across the message today that it's about we are the centre but we still need to learn. So the thing is if there is engagement pieces like this where we can learn from it, uh, that, that please feed that information back to us. And we got a lot from today with some ideas behind say what we need to do with resource and activity lists, um, with what we need to actually feed back, how we need to actually take people along the journey of the costing transformation program. Great today working in with uh, the major benchmarking group um, in the country. It, it was good to then say, what are their requirements for the future? What are their requirements now? What do they need further into the future? So that's what we learned from this kind of event. We need to do more of it. We need to hear, we need to listen, we need to ensure that we're on the right track and that's what we get out of these events. If there's one takeaway to really uh, uh, gain from this event is to ensure that our resources and activities are aligned, the, the work that we're doing in that. I'll take back to my office that, as I said, the importance to that with the work that this group is doing to ensure that we are reporting the right information in the right areas for benchmarking purposes. I was talking about uh, a, a pilot that we've done recently with uh, a number of the trusts, some of whom were here today, uh, and what that pilot was trying to do was to come up with a consistent way of uh, mapping the general ledger to activities and resources so that we can really benchmark on a like-for-like -like basis and get real good results. Um, I think what was useful today was to hear um, how everyone is as keen as we are to integrate what we've done now with the costing transformation project um, so that, that that can really take on board the messages uh, in particularly uh, in the form of the costing standards. I think for me to take away was sort of like having so many different types of speakers not just the actual supplier but also from NHSI um, the guys are so knowledgeable in their sector that to be able to have the opportunity to be able to ask questions and actually speak with them afterwards at the tea break has been a really good opportunity. I've just given a quick talk um, to the group about um, the work that I've been doing with the Carter Review where I focus specifically on metrics and the model hospital. Um, I talked about the way in which the review was done and then I gave an overview of some of the recommendations including in particular around the metrics um, that we've um, created within the Carter team, the model hospital and then our ideas about the single integrated performance framework and the way that the model hospital will be used. It was really interesting the discussion that we had in the room. Um, there were particular points about the challenge involved in the time scale to actually deliver the model hospital. And then I think um, another big challenge was around actually getting change on the ground and in order to actually implement some of the stuff, having something alongside the benchmarking which is about improvement and changing cultures and changing things in trusts. So I find these events really useful in particular because they allow me to kind of get a feel for what's going on in trusts and then to get the message across as to what we're doing to a large audience. So it's been brilliant being here today. I've been several times now, um, basically from looking at some data that was shown to, be my, shown to me by our costing accountant that I didn't even know existed. Once I'd seen the data, um, it led me to look a little bit further into what actually PCB were doing. Um, and it just so happened that Trevor wasn't able to attend one of the sessions last year, and I came along instead. instead. 
um, on coming along, I was hooked. Because actually what I saw was what we can do with the data to improve our patient care um, and actually by looking at improving patient pathways and the patient care we have to look at cost as well because there's no point in actually improving stuff if it's costing us more money. The aim is to do both so actually improve patient care and actually save money as well and I think this data has got the potential and the capability to allow us to do that and I know it's improving all the time which is very beneficial for us. I think uh, the whole day is always important. Um, uh, you get costing accountants together and that, that's important. But I think for me, the, the most important thing was uh, the focus of the Carter Report. It's founded on costing. We're at the vanguard of that. And it's a position we haven't been in before. And that's really important. So we were just talking about how Imperial's journey in trying to engage budget holders, clinicians and services in service line reporting and patient level information data. And the way we did it was really presenting narrative, so telling the story behind the numbers and presenting how Imperial's costs compared to other providers. I think a lot of the people that fed back to us was, did you, was it as easy as you made it sound? And the short answer would be no, it wasn't easy. It was a lot of hard work, a lot of late nights, but and I think the other observations was, you know, um, the team spirit within the team, and I, I, I guess it was a team effort. We all worked well, well as a team, and the rest of the trust really recognised it. And we have been on a journey, and luckily we were able to report back all the positive findings that we've had. Really enjoy these sessions. It's intellectually stimulating as well as really finding other kindred spirits that are going through the same. Um, processes us. Well, we've had a terrific day here today. Uh, we've had a lot of excellent speakers. We've had people from the uh, Productivity and Efficiency team from the Carter Review bringing us up to speed with what's happening there with the latest uh, thinking on that. We've had people from the Cost and Transformation Programme talking through that piece of work. And we've had examples from members of the Patient Cost Benchmarking Club about how they're actually using the data and how they're training their teams up to use it. Uh, I would really recommend anybody who didn't manage to come along this time to make sure they come along to our next user group.